Hello, my beautiful, beautiful friends. Welcome back to Alien Protocols. I have spoken one time before about uh, Tata Aho and the Iroquois tribe. And there's a lot in this that I think is very specific, very specific to this channel. And for those of you who don't know the story, um, this is a real story, a true story. The five Iroquois tribes in 1100, around that era, um, they fought constantly. They fought each other constantly. There was bloody, bloody battles and, you know, total devastation and horror again and again. Revenge and chiefs would do revenge killings. It just went on and on and on. And one day, a stranger appeared and they say he arrived in a canoe a strange canoe made of stone that's how it has been described and he came ashore now one of the five tribes is led by a chief named Tadaaho and Tadaaho was a shaman and a very powerful shaman. It was spoken about very uh, emphatically that he could control weather and do many astounding miracles. He was a kind of a very dark character as well too. He had, he was kind of like Blackbeard the pirate. Uh, instead of the burning, you know, candles in his hair, Tadaaho had live snakes in his hair and that's not an exaggeration he had little snakes he put in his hair and he was very uh, he was very tough let's say and he was very feared so the peacemaker who arrived on this strange stone canoe met one of the tribes first he spoke with them and bonded with them and he let them know that he came to bring peace to the Iroquois nations and he spoke of democracy and laws <clears throat> and taught them quite a few things and they went to the next tribe and appealed Tadaho went with that other tribe chief and appealed to the other uh, three tribes, not including Tadaaho. And they all agreed. And so they went to Tadaaho together, the four other tribes, the four other chiefs, and what they call the peacemaker. And he was only called the peacemaker. He had no other name. And, uh, they appeared in front of Tadaaho, and the peacemaker pulled out one arrow and he snapped it over his knee. And then he pulled out five arrows and tried to snap them over his knee. And he said, one arrow is easy to break. Five, you cannot break. And the message was very clear and obvious. And Tadaaho accepted. And in fact, he became the chief of the five tribes, basically. It was kind of a confederacy. And they never waged war again. And strangely, this is a part that I think really convinced Tadaaho. Right after the peacemaker's speech, the, and this was in 1142, there was a solar eclipse. There was a strange happening in the sky. And they all took that as a sign that they should come together. So that's really interesting. And that the fact that it happened right then at the time during the meeting, it was just after uh, the peacemaker said those things. It's very powerful. And it's 
almost suspicious in a way. And one certainly wouldn't be uh, accused of being irrational if they said that a stranger who came to bring them together in a stone, strange canoe could have been otherworldly. You can't blame someone for thinking that. And upon my research, I have found that he was different. The peacemaker was different in appearance, but he was an, uh, uh, he appeared as a Iroquois. He appeared as an Indian, but just like a different one. He was wearing the culturally appropriate, uh, you know, garments and accessories. Do you think Tara, Tara Aho was convinced to have peace because of a non-terrestrial? Who is the peacemaker? Where was the peacemaker from? It's a great lesson for all of us. And maybe we need a peacemaker now, again. You know, his core teaching that all the tribes spoke of, is he said, we are all family. We are all family and should treat each other as family. That's the central teaching. And that teaching lasts till today. And I think we could use a peacemaker again to remind us that we are all family and all wars will break us like an arrow. What do you guys think? Much love.